So what is the cheapest way to speed up your PC, make it run faster, while also making it quieter and cooler at the same time? In this video, I'm gonna take this rusty old gaming PC. I'm sorry you guys had to see this, and I'm gonna turn it into something like this without spending that much money. Wanna show you how? Let's get into it. Hey, how is it going guys? My name is Robin and on this channel I cover gaming gear and PC hardware. And so if you're interested in that, consider subscribing and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a few tips how to make your workstation, your gaming PC or whatever you may be playing on, how you make it quieter and yeah, potentially even game performance. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you guys some temperatures and noise before and after comparisons. Everything that I've been using in this video, products, etc. are all listed down below. So this is my current backup gaming rig slash file server that I'm currently storing all my videos and content that I post for you guys. Right now it's hooked up to my network, backing up content and yeah, she's running 24 seven. She works like a dream, but yeah, there is a but. She is very, very loud. Therefore I reached out to Arctic and yeah, they were kind enough to send over their brand new Arctic Freezer 34 Esports Duo CPU cooler. And yeah, they're all new P12 fans which is a PWM pressured optimized fan that can be controlled by your motherboard so that you then can tell them when to spin and yeah, when not to spin at all. So my idea here is to make this screaming lady quiet once and for all and yeah, by installing all of these new fans to the fan headers to the motherboard, yeah, we're then gonna be able to set the fan curves for these new fans so that they don't even have to spin when there's no need for it. Now before we jump into this, I have a few tips here, some best practices how you can make your PC silent. Number one, you want to clean your case regularly as dust can clutter up your fans pretty quickly. I recommend using compressed gas duster for effective cleaning and yeah, of course don't use a vacuum. Number two is to install this nifty software called SpeedFan. If you have case fans that support this, that way you can set up fan curves for each fan. And as for your graphics card, I recommend using MSI off the burner. Number three, pick a case that is fitted with noise dampening or simply buy some damping materials online and install it in your case. Number four, if you have spinning hard drives, make sure that there is some form of rubber dampening between between the case itself and the hard drive, this is very important. And number five, consider investing in a beefier CPU cooler with at least two fans for a push and pull configuration. Now, I'm gonna be using this four pin PWM operated fan that, unlike the older three pin fans I had in the other case, which ran in full speed all the time, these can communicate with the motherboard and will only speed up when the system is needing and asking for it and when the system is not doing any heavy stuff, the fans will remain silent and yeah, not even spinning since yeah, they have a mode called zero dB mode which lets the fan switch into a silent passive mode and yeah, this happens when the PWM signal is below 5%. I also wanna add guys that Arctic is not a sponsor for this video. They just released these new fans and yeah, I wanted to give them a try. Now, in addition to these fans, we're also gonna be switching out the old CP PU cooler since I do believe that this water radiator here that I've been using, this is a Corsair H60 I believe, yeah I believe that the pump has given up which means that although it is a lot quieter now, the pump is not pumping around the water. Now at first I was thinking about using the same case here, yeah as it looks right now there is not enough space to fit all the hard drives that I got and since I already had an older fractal design define R4 case only sitting and collecting that that actually has room for more hard drives. I figured why not use this instead. So I'm gonna start by cleaning this up. I'm gonna add the missing PCIe slots and then yeah I'm gonna move the motherboard fittings for the MATX 
And yeah, then we're gonna assembly the fans in this case. After that, yeah, it's gonna be time to tear the old lady apart and move everything over to this new case. Regarding these new fans here, my idea here is to use the front and the bottom as intake and use the CPU cooler and the fan at the back of the case to push and drag the air out of the case. Alright, so it's finally time to install the new CPU cooler. I wanted to show you guys this super quick. Well, it's easy to tell that Artix been working on improving their CPU coolers lately and the Freezer 34 Duo comes with two new fans from the Artix Bionic X P-Series which are specifically made for high static pressure operations like pushing air through heat sinks like this. It's going to be interesting to see how well they perform. The installation is simple but there is no instructions in the box. Instead you simply scan a QR code and then you get redirected to a site that lets you download the manual that is made up of moving pictures to help you understand things a little bit better. It took me a few minutes to get everything up and running and the only small issue I had was to figure out what screws I was gonna use for my socket since there were so many to choose from and I wasn't able to figure out first which one was meant for my socket. It took me a few minutes or two but everything else was simply smooth sailing. So with that said the cooler is now in place. I think this looks very nice and hopefully it's going to look great inside the arctic white defined case as well. Now something I want to add is that it isn't possible not to notice the level of details arctic have put into this such as the fan clips that doesn't fall off, the integrated rubber dampeners on the fan itself, small things like that simply makes installation so much more fun and enjoyable. Now with that said finally it's time to put the motherboard back. Important here is not to forget to install these new fans to the motherboard headers so that we then can configure the fan curves etc. What's left for me now is to fix the cable routing and yeah close up the case. So let's talk about the temperatures for a few seconds. The idle temperatures went down by a few degrees and after been running Cinebench for a few rounds on both the water cooler and the arctic one the CPU went down by a few degrees as well and we are now seeing more stable numbers as a bonus while being silent. Now to give you guys an idea what it's sounds like I have installed speed fan to test the fans. So as you can see with 4 pin fans also known as PWM operated fans you can control them in a software like fan speed and let them communicate with the CPU temperature or graphics card temperature so that they can stay quiet and not even spin at all when they're not needed and speed up as your graphics card or CPU starts running hotter. Jace 2 cents actually did a complete tutorial how to get started with this nifty software and you will find the link to that video tutorial down below. So there's a few more tips guys to make your PC quieter. Consider investing in PWM operated case fans such as the Arctic P12 for example as they can move plenty of air while being silent. Also consider investing in a CPU cooler that moves enough air without being noisy. I highly recommend coolers such as Dark Rock Pro 4 and the Noctua D15 but they are quite pricey so I would definitely recommend recommend the Arctic 34 Esports Duo as it's probably the cheapest dual fan cooler available right now that doesn't compromise on noise, quality and temperatures. And yeah that's the whole idea of this guys, by keeping your system cool you will essentially keep your system from running hot throttling and eventually lose performance. Once again huge thanks to Arctic for sending out these fans and cooler. Again I'm not getting paid, they're not sponsoring but yeah I do recommend them as they offer solid cooling solutions for sheep. Now I'm gonna be back guys with a brand new video in just a day or two. Thank you so much for watching this video until next time. Have an awesome day right? Bye!